Hello YouTube and welcome to a festive edition video by the Unlucky Lads. First up, a very Merry Christmas to those that celebrate it. In this video we'll be detailing the raid intel skips on Critical, Regular and Low for the raid starting on the 20th of December, running through Christmas and until the 26th of December, which is Project Titan Week 161. As a slight twist in this video, we not only want to thank our supporters for giving us the best year filled with lots of subscribes, likes and comments, but also introduce a new buy us a slice of pizza link in the description below. However, we do not want or expect you to feel any pressure, so please don't think you have to click the link. We will still be releasing the intel each week regardless. It's been set to the lowest amount of just one US dollar, and we wanted to add it in case anyone would like to buy our team a tasty treat to say thank you. And what better time to start than over this happy time of year? Cheers again to all our awesome subscribers for your epic support you have shown us this year, and we hope everyone has a brilliant 2023, wherever you are in the world. Back to this video, and starting with Critical, the modifiers this week will be 1 Gun, 3 Hearts, and Technique Slowdown. So to get back to your festive celebrations quicker this year, you can use the intel skips and start by destroying the four panels at Ancient Harbour. This will open up the circle at Chemical Refinery, where you can beat Bao and then head into Sector 2. As a Christmas treat, Gargoyle doesn't require any intel this week, meaning this boss is free and you can just go straight to Testing Zone to defeat the Flying Titan. And Supercomputer just requires the Hack and Defend of the node at Camp Phoenix, which will give you access to Quantum at the building in the sea. Once Gargoyle and Supercomputer have been destroyed, you can advance into Sector 3. For Cerberus, you'll need to press four nodes at Lava Duct, which although technically locked, can be accessed a number of different ways, including team wiping to the wall to the left of Lava Duct's western gate. However you choose, once you press the four nodes at Lava Duct, you'll have access to Cerberus at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the critical raid. In summary, the modifiers shouldn't be considered too bad this week. If you've run a few critical raids before, then this list of modifiers may feel like a Christmas bonus, because all things considered, one gun can be changed on the fly, and the other two modifiers might not even affect you or the squad that much. It's a similar story for the intel trail, which delivers us a big present this holiday period, with a very short intel trail for every boss, but then on top of that, Gargoyle is completely free as well. It should make for a very quick raid this week, which hopefully gives you more time to enjoy other festivities you have planned. So from all of us here at the Unlucky Lads, enjoy your quick raids, have a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate it, and let us know in the comments below if you run into any problems, because we'll try and help out so you can finish the raid and earn those rewards. Moving on to regular and low, there are no modifiers and it does just use last week's critical intel, which means the gift giving continues because Bow is a free titan, so you can just go straight to the chemical refinery because there's no intel required for this first boss. After you've beaten the Tank Titan, you can go to Sector 2. For Gargoyle, you'll need to press four nodes simultaneously, two at Forgotten Sanctuary and two at Testing Zone. And Supercomputer requires you to defend the node in the bunker of Missile Site Ruins. You can now fight both Titans in Sector 2, Gargoyle at Testing Zone and Supercomputer at the Building in the Sea, before moving into Sector 3. For Cerberus this week, you'll need two intels at Prototype Workshop, before getting a further one intel at Traces of Ancient Ruins, which is the cave next to Scandium Mine. Then you can interrogate the bandage guy at Red Phoenix, before inputting the password he gives you into the node at the top of Lava Duct. Once you've done all of that, you'll have access to Cerberus at the top of Lava Shield, where you can complete the regular and low raids. That's all for now. Happy Christmas again to those that celebrate it, and hopefully you enjoyed our festive video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, also remember we now have a buy our team a pizza slice link in the description below. But again, no pressure there because it really is your other support that drives us to make these videos. So until next time, enjoy your festivities. Peace out, the unlucky lads.